In this video I will explain the difference between a fixed and a sticky position in Figma and how to stick specific elements. When creating a scrollable page, sometimes you may have objects you want to remain in one position. Unlike the fixed position, the sticky position sticks to the top of the parent element when scrolling. This can be useful if you want specific objects to be fixed only for a part of the page. I will quickly show you the difference with an example of my gallery here and this red footer. Here on the left side you can see that I already fixed my two sidebars, namely these two blue rectangles and the image logos. The rest of the page scrolls with the parent element. So what will happen is that the fixed sidebars will overlap your footer when scrolling down the page. And this is usually not what you want. In order to change this, we first have to separate the gallery and the footer in two different frames. So I will take my footer, which is this red rectangle and this text, and reframe them by left clicking and choosing frame selection. As you can see now, you have a second frame, which is at the moment still located within the first frame. We're gonna change that by drag and drop it out of the first frame. As you can see, you have now two frames which we can rename to gallery and footer, which makes it more clear. Then also check that you adjusted the size of the frame before continuing. Next, select your sidebars again and then choose as a scroll behavior sticky instead of fixed in this prototype section on the right side. As a last step, we have to create one parent frame for both of our frames, the gallery and the footer. We're just gonna do that by selecting both frames and frame the selection again. You can also frame a selection with the shortcut Option Command plus G on your Mac or Ctrl Alt and G on your Windows. As you can see now, the sidebars are not overlapping the footer anymore when scrolling down the page. Thanks so much for watching and if you liked the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe.